you got a cap for England. I thought you played pretty well. They dropped you, unexpectedly. I mean, and, and then you came back. How, how do you pick yourself up when, you, when you've been dropped from playing the team of your dreams? Oh, well, yeah, you come straight out of six months out of school and, and obviously all you dream about is playing for your country. So I was firstly lucky to get the opportunity. It was obviously disappointing to get dropped. I was very lucky. I've got a close family. Um, I had some, some good friends, some good mentors, particularly a guy called Steve Black, who I had at Newcastle as a the SEC coach there. Um, just a real tight, supportive group, and it's just a case of calling on calling on their support and a little bit of getting straight back on the horse and going again. And, and did you feel like you just want to prove them wrong? Uh, I think as an 18-year-old uh, yeah, kid, you of kind age. of can't see past. Very this. young to get a cap in the first place. Yeah, you can, I can't necessarily see past the disappointment. Um, yeah. So you need a little bit of help in doing that. And, Part of that, I'd say, was the support of family, friends, loved ones, um, but also just getting back on the horse. I was very fortunate enough. So would you give it? Sorry. Not sorry. long after that, I went yeah. to the Seven Circuit um, yes, yes. and did the Commonwealth Games and some tournaments and that, which was great for me just to kind of get away from, I guess, the hullabaloo around the 15s game and just do something completely different. That's right. How long was that for? The, the Sevens. Yeah. Uh, so I did a full year on that circuit, but we did the Commonwealth Games, Hong Kong, Singapore. It was just a, just a great trip, and just because yeah. seven is such an instinctive game, it kind of just hones the stuff that. And take a break from the, the mainstream yeah, stuff. It was, yeah, it was good for me. Did that refresh you? I think it yeah. did, yeah. It, was, it yeah. was good for me just to get away from the 15s game and yeah. spend some time so, playing a game that I really enjoy. What advice would you give to a young person who's been dropped or hasn't, you know, they've been upset, something's gone wrong? What advice would you give to a young person who, who's been dropped? Talk, talk to friends, family, if you're struggling with it. Um, doesn't make you a bad player. Keep doing what you're doing. And it's okay to seek support for stuff. Um, yeah. And give find, it a go. Give it a go, find the reason yeah. why you, you're playing in the first place and keep doing that. And how does it feel now that you're giving it a go again? You're, you're yeah, so a few, quite years, a few years ago now, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good. And so I'm very fortunate, I've been playing for a number of years now. And yeah. I think, uh, as you get a bit older, you can reflect back on things and, and learn from them. And Do you enjoy it more now with less pressure or as you're more mature? Or? I think you just, just maturity. It comes yeah. with age a little yeah, bit yeah. and you get used yeah. to... Okay, Matthew Tate, absolute privilege to talk to you. You're inspiring young people with your story. Good luck to you. Maybe we'll see you in Japan in the World Cup. Who knows? I think you should be there. I really do. As a tourist, maybe. <laughs> Matthew, thank you so much. Cheers, man.